Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here, again with Mrs Mad Dog behind the camera. As you can see, we're overlooking a little man-made man um, lake here, and on the edge of that is growing some of these common water reeds. <coughs> so I just thought I'd quickly demonstrate and show you something that maybe you all know anyway, but if we take a thin one of these and just pull it, pull it out, straight out of the embankment, start peeling it back this is a, only a small baby just for an example but the bigger ones if you're wading have more carbohydrate nutrient content hopefully as you can see the white starchy center of this is perfectly edible and it's a good form of carbohydrates especially in the autumn straight winter when there isn't much else left to eat and also if you just look, if uh, my missus will just pan round on, onto the heads of the reeds, the seed heads are now turning into like a, um, <clears throat> a fluffy fibrous pulp, which as we all know, if you harvest some of that, you bring it home and ho open it out and it becomes like um, a wild cotton wool or capuk, uh, excellent flash tinder for fire lighting. It's also very good for insulation. So you can stuff it in your socks and inside your jackets, help keep you warm in a serious survival situation. And uh, making great makeshift pillows. So um, just thought I'd quickly share that little one with you. Wild water eat, very common, great form of carbohydrates. Better if you boil them up. Obviously that gets rid of all the parasites and algae and makes them more palatable, less chewy. But that being said, something's better than nothing. So thought I'd quickly share that one with you. Mad Dog and Mrs. Mad Dog signing off. Take care. Yeah!